to demonstrate that carbon dioxide is needed for photosynthesis. Requirements Potted plant Conical flask Clamp stands Sodium hydroxide solution Cotton wool Lime water Water Iodine solution Beaker Alcohol 70% Bunsen burner Boiling tube Watch glass Forceps Dropper Procedure Destarch the leaves of potted plant by placing it in dark for about 72 hours. After 72 hours Select two leaves of approximately the same size attached to the plant. Insert one leaf in a conical flask containing 0.4 microns sodium hydroxide. It will remove the carbon dioxide. A cotton wool plug soaked in lime water will prevent carbon dioxide from entering the flask. Set up the second leaf in the same way as the experimental leaf, but this time use water instead of the sodium hydroxide. Plug the flask with cotton wool soaked in water. Keep the setup in sunlight for a few hours. After a few hours, detach both the leaves and dip in boiling water for a minute. Now boil them in alcohol over a water bath till they decolorize. Wash them in water. Then test with iodine. Observation The experimental leaf remains unchanged, that is, decolorized, while the control leaf becomes blue-black, showing the positive test with iodine. Inference and Conclusion The experimental leaf showed negative test with the iodine because in the absence of carbon dioxide, no photosynthesis took place. Hence, no starch is formed. While the control leaf showed positive test with iodine because due to the presence of carbon dioxide, starch was formed. It proves that carbon dioxide is a necessary factor for photosynthesis.